Hi guys, this is Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Recently, a set of old posters advertised in 2019 has regained its popularity in China. So in today's episode, we are going to take a look at those infamous posters and analyze a little bit why some Chinese people find it so offensive and even say it's racism hinted. So these are the posters. While you guys are looking at it, let me ask you three questions. A, what do you think about those posters? Do you find them pleasant or just so-so? And B, let's take a look at the models on those posters. Do you find her lovely or not so attractive? And C, specifically focusing on this model's eyes. If I'm giving you keywords like slanted eyes or Asian eyes or those stereotypical impressions that Western media usually portrayed Asian people's features, do you still find this poster poster okay or you slightly find it a little bit funny. At the first glance of those posters, I don't really necessarily like them or have a specific thing to against them. Let's just say the beauty standards that I have in my heart doesn't really work in line with what those posters were trying to convey. I still think this is a topic that's worth sharing with the rest of the world because I actually think that certain people find this offensive, this idea and the claim actually holds water. Because if we take a look at the beauty standard of course is very much diversified and it's hard to pin down on one specific beauty standard but let's say it in China it's almost the same as the Western media if we see some of the celebrities especially female actresses here in America or Hollywood usually they have big eyes and delicate nose and desirable lips and that doesn't really draw such a distinctive line with that beauty standard in that of the Chinas. However, when it comes to the so-called specific oriental looks, we have noticed some disparities. Let's take a look at some of the photos here. I think it wouldn't be difficult for you to find out that some of the oriental or Asian female models in those photos are looking rather pale in terms of makeup and their eyes were slanted and some of them have freckles and they have this high cheekbones and fuller lips. Do you see a pattern here? When some people calling out Three Squirrels commercial poster is a little bit racism and find it rather offensive and demanded an official apology, the company did so. But the model says otherwise. She felt like just because I have smaller eyes and that means I don't deserve to be a Chinese. Well, I don't think that's the argument here. And certainly some people are saying some people are being so delicate and they are such a snowflakes, they can't even appreciate a styled commercial posters. Not to mention it was posted several years ago and they come back and talk about this going after the commercials, the models, and the company as well. But what I wanted to say about this specific meta is we should be looking at the diversified beauty and take another scrutinized glance at those so-called morbid beauty. If the so-called oriental beauty really looks like that, wouldn't that be portraying an idea that a lot of the majority of Asian women look like that? I think it's about a demographic features, no? And if everyone holds such ideas, and if the high fashion and the famous brands continue to use Asian models that accentuate their features like such, wouldn't it be misleading for other people that think Asian women all look like that? And gradually, with the distinctive makeup and the upward eyeliners, they would think, oh, those are the oriental beauties. But the fact is, no, we prefer the slanted eyes, or as what we call it in Chinese, Danyanpi. I actually made a video about that, and I'll put the links down below, and you will see the differences between an actually naturally beautiful, slightly slanted eyes, and very exaggerating Western portrait beauty standard. That is completely different. So I think while we are advocating the diversified beauty standard, we should also pay attention to see if certain beauty standard 
is drawn in the specific interest of a certain group that actually stem from a rather morbid reason? And if so, should we put a stop on it or should we continue to carry forward just so because it has a market? What do you think?